Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics uh, by doc Dr. Amit. Thank you all for the 600 subscription, it means a lot. Today's topic is glycogen metabolism and in the glycogen metabolism we will see uh, regarding glycogenesis. So the learning objective for today's videos are First, we will see the introduction and structure of glycogen. Then we will see the main pathway and in the last we will see the important points to remember. So let's see uh, the structure of glycogen. So glycogen is basically a storage form of carbohydrate seen in animals. It is mainly stored in uh, liver and in the muscle. It is a homopolysaccharide type of polysaccharide. Homopolysaccharide means the, there will be the repeating uh, glucose units and this glucose units are joined together with the help of two linkages. One is the alpha 1,4 linkage and another is the alpha 1,6 linkage. This uh, linear sequences will be joined together with the help of 1,4 linkages and in the branching point there will be the presence of alpha 1,6 linkage. And the liver glycogen will play important role in the regulation of blood glucose while the muscle glycogen will be playing important role for providing energy at the time of muscle contraction. And in the innermost component of glycogen molecule is called as a glycogenin or glycogen primer. It is basically a protein carbohydrate complex and it is a dimeric protein. So that was basic information regarding glycogen. And this is the structure of glycogen. Now let's see the main pathway. So the first step of the glycogenesis is the activation of glucose. So uh, glucose 1-phosphate which is coming from the glycolytic pathway. In the glycolytic pathway glucose is converted to the glucose 6-phosphate and glucose 6-phosphate is isomerized to the glucose 1-phosphate. It reacts with the uridine triphosphate. So in the presence of one enzyme that is called as a UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. So, glucose molecule will attach to the UTP and one phosphate molecule will be removed from the UTP. So, in the end, there will be the synthesis of activation of glucose in the form of UDP glucose and there is elimination of one molecule of phosphate. So, that is activation of glucose. It is done with the help of UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. Now, second step is, a uh, second step is done with the help of glycogen synthase enzyme which is the rate limiting enzyme of glycogenesis glycogen synthase and this enzyme is active only in the dephosphorylated stage that you have to remember it is active in the dephosphorylated stage so this glycogen synthase enzyme reacts with the UDP glucose and glycogen primer we have already uh, talked about glycogen primer it is a basically glycogenin which is the starting molecule for the glycogen synthesis. So the glycogen primer plus UDP glucose in the presence of glycogen synthase. So the glucose unit will be, uh, glucose will be sequentially removed from the UDP glucose and it will attach to the glycogen primer. So it will lead to the synthesis of glycogen N plus 1 plus UDP. And this process will be uh, continue, continually occurring till the uh, chain is long enough with around 10 to 12 glucose residues and all these glucose residues are attached to each other with the help of 1,4 linkages only. So that is the step which is done with the help of glycogen synthase. So that is the glycogenin, that is the enzyme glycogen synthase, this is the UDP glucose. So there is a synthesis of chain which is long enough with around 10 to 12 glucose residues and all these glucose residues are attached with each other with the help of alpha 1,4 linkages. So in the structure we have seen that in the glycogen there is a presence of two linkages. One is the alpha 1,4 linkages and another is the alpha 1,6 linkages. But the limitation of this glycogen synthase enzyme is it cannot carried out the formation of 1,6 linkages. So for that we require another enzyme for the formation of 1,6 linkages and that enzyme is called as a that enzyme is called as a branching enzyme. So branching enzyme will come into action. What this branching enzyme will do? It will transfer the 6 glucose residues from this chain to the another side and it will initiate the 
new it will initiate the synthesis of new branch so and this new branch there will be the formation of this one six linkages so this is the new branch so the six glucose residues from the original chain is transferred and it leads to synthesis of new branch which is with the alpha one six linkage so this is there is a presence of alpha one four linkages and over here there is a presence of alpha one six linkage so that is the synthesis of that is how this alpha 16 linkages are formed so the repeated action of glycogen synthase along with the branching enzyme will lead to the synthesis of glycogen molecule so you can see this is the glycogen molecule which is uh, which is very much branched and it is very much compact this is how glycogen molecule is synthesized with the help of two enzyme that is glycogen synthase and branching enzyme and this branching enzyme if there is a deficiency of this branching enzyme then it leads to one glycogen storage disease disease that is a type 4 glycogen storage disease which is called as a amylopectosis or andersons disease in that there will be the presence of glycogen molecule with only alpha 14 linkages and it will lead to the hypoglycemia as well as hepatosplenomegaly now let's see the various importance to okay this is the same thing so glycogen primer it acts with the glycogen synthase so there will be the adding of glucose units with the help of one four linkages only so second enzyme is coming in the action that is branching enzyme which will add the, which will uh, which will form the new bond that is called as a alpha 16 bond so that is glycogen synthase and branching enzyme now let's see the important points to the first thing is rate limiting enzyme of glycogenesis so the answer is glycogen synthase it is the rate limiting enzyme an important point you have to remember is glycogen synthase is active in it is active only in the d phosphorylated stage deficiency of branching enzyme leads to it leads to the amylopectinosis or andersons disease in this disease there it is a one type of glycogen storage disease type 4 glycogen storage disease in that there will be the presence of glycogen molecule with alpha 14 linkages only and it leads to hypoglycemia as well as hepatosplenomegaly fine all of the enzymes of glycogen metabolism are they are cytosolic so the answer is cytosolic so that is all about glycogenesis in the next video we will discuss regarding glycogenolysis and how this glycogen metabolism is regulated thank you for watching this video like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr am